Thanks for tuning in to watch The Ordinary Filmmaker. It's Sunday, it's November the 21st, 2021, and this is when Black Friday week really starts to kick in. It's the beginning of a new week. Black Friday is just, well, five business days away. And in some cases, we're already seeing some great deals. Now, you might be thinking, if this is your first time watching this channel, I'm just another mouthpiece. What do I know? I'm just pulling threads off the internet. Well, if let me give you an example of how I do know what I'm talking about. You all know that right now, the Xbox is completely sold out planet-wide, and I just picked this up last week. I bought it, and I didn't pay a cent over retail. And I'm going to tell you how I did that, but for those of you who don't know what this box is or what all the fuss is, this is the Microsoft Xbox Series X. One terabyte. It's the most sought-after game machine. These are selling for two to three times the regular retail price. Now, I'll explain to you how I got this and what you can do to get one. There are ways to get it completely legitimately through regular channels, and I'll get to that later in this video. But I do know what I'm talking about, and I want to talk to you about some other great deals when it comes to camera stuff. Every day now we're seeing special deals, and not all of them are going to be happening on Black Friday. Some of them are happening right now. I use Angelbird for most of my storage needs. I'm using it right now in the Ninja 5. I've got the one terabyte Atom X. I also have one down here. This is the 512 gigabyte. I've got a two terabyte CF Express card, and I've got their V90 SD cards. If you're a content creator, if you're producing an awful lot of content, especially with video, and you're shooting continuously, constant writes, sequential up to, well, terabytes, these are the way to go, and they're built really, really tough. They dissipate heat. They're really, really terrific. Well, I've got some really good news for you. For those of you who are interested in getting something like a 2 terabyte CF Express card, they're on sale right now. Let's take a look at BNH, and you can see this ends in about 12 hours, 14 hours here, but by the time I get this video out to you, it's going to be 12 hours. And this is the same one that I have, the 2 terabyte AV Pro CF Express Type B memory card. And look at that, a whopping $270 off, instantly $630 or $629.99. And the cost per gigabyte there is absolutely incredible. $629 for two terabytes. Now, if that's a bit too much for you and you don't need something nearly that big, well then for $160, you can get the 256 gigabyte Angel Bird CF Express card. So lots of really great deals. And last week, there were some great deals on Nikon bodies up to 30% off in some cases, so some really great deals can be had. And what I'm going to be doing over the next several days, I'm going to be watching all the feeds. I'm going to be taking a look, and I'm going to be getting out to the best deals that I can see. Now, I'm not going to do a video on absolutely everything that I come across. If you subscribe to my channel, um, then in the community forums, what I quite often will do, I'll put out a poll or a message saying, hey, this is on sale at BNH or Amazon. Take a look. I'm expecting sales on uh, uh, Samsung as well. I use Samsung Evos. These are really great for the computer. They do a really terrific job. They, they, they have a good life. Um, uh, the Samsung Evos 870s are generally what I use. I've used the 860s as well. And as soon as I see some sales on those, right now the sales I'm seeing for the Samsungs aren't that great. They're more or less sales to bring prices back to where they were last year. We're not seeing those huge deals like I saw last year. I still can't find... Uh, a four terabyte Samsung Evo 870 for the same price that I bought it last year. So I highly recommend, so you don't miss out on anything, even if you just subscribe for a month, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and that way, and choose notifications. So when I send out a community post about whatever's on sale, you're gonna get that. Now, if it's something big like this with the Angel Birds, then I'm gonna do a separate video. I'll do a really short and brief one to let you know that this is out there. Cause as you can see here, this one ends today. This one ends at the end of Sunday. And I really wish they would continue this one a bit more. Now, when I was talking to Roman, the CEO of Angelbird, and I just recently did an interview um, to gather information for a video I put out not too long ago, this one here, talking about the actual one terabyte Atom X uh, mini SSD. He told me there were going to be some sales, and sure enough, this has got to be one of the best sales that I've seen. I, 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 in fact, I've never seen the Angelbird uh, CF Express Type B cards go on sales like this. So if you're hemming and hawing, just go ahead and buy it. You can always cancel your order later. This is something you don't want to miss up on. And think about this, two terabytes for $630. Is it $630? Yeah, $630. And where can you go wrong? Now, for those of you who stuck around that were really curious to know how I got an Xbox Series X, I've got to be quiet because my son's upstairs and he doesn't know 
So I'm getting too hyped up. I'm beginning to sound like Peter McKinnon. So let me bring it up here. This thing is heavy. Now I'll put it right here. This was really tough to get. Planet White, they're sold out. And you know that if you're watching this right now. Very, very hard to get. I didn't go through scalpers. I'm not going to drive the market price up any further. In fact, after I got this, I almost thought, should I just put it out there and make two times the money? And I thought, no, I'm going to hang on to this. This is how I did it. When, at least here in Canada, and I believe the United States is the same as well, when you go to purchase the Xbox, or you've got two options. To purchase it outright, and there's also the Halo edition. Now, I, I didn't wait for the Halo edition because I think your odds of getting a unit significantly drop. And don't worry about the Halo edition. You can always go ahead and buy the game later. And I'm going to tell you how this gives you the Halo Infinite. This is the option where you purchase it with two years of Game Pass. I might be hearing a little bit of groaning, but just hear me out. I purchased this with a two years of Game Pass, and of course that upped the price a little bit. Now here in Canada, this is $6.99 with the Game Pass after taxes is around $1,100. But that's not a cent over retail. Now you get Game Pass for two years. Now with Game Pass, I don't have to buy Xbox Live, so that saves me $160. So now I'm only out $160. But because you get Xbox, or sorry, I'm still a little bit too excited, Halo Infinite with Game Pass, that saves me another 90 Canadian. So I'm only out about another $90. And, you know, I'm going to have this for two years with Game Pass. It's very easy for me to be able to download at least one other game, and it covers the cost. So if, if you're kind of interested in Game Pass, uh, or you prefer Xbox Live, whatever it is, just consider this option. Yes, you're paying a little bit more than Xbox Live Gold, but I don't know anybody who does gaming online with the Xbox that doesn't have either Xbox Live Gold or Game Pass. And what this is going to do, this is, it ships really quickly. Now, I will caution you. Now, in Canada, it uses RBC Pay Plan, and that's um, a division of RBC Bank. I call them up. I wanted to test because some of these services, you can't even get through to customer support. It's really, really bad. And if you miss a payment, if there's any issues, you can really get into high interest charges. So you gotta be careful with these. Now I called them twice and I got through pretty well right away. And as soon as I got this shipped, I went online to set up my bank account and for whatever reason, I had trouble. But I was using Safari on the Mac. I switched over to Chrome, no problem, set up the bank account. And I've already tried to issue one payment. I don't like to do this. I like to pay everything up front and I really do wish they gave us the option to pay in full. And I do have that option through the the RBC pay plan. So I just want to caution you, it does require you to set up through one of these um, pay as you check out services. There is no way to pay it completely online, but it's zero percent interest. As long as you make the payments, as long as you do all that, you're covered. And what I do recommend is if you're worried about making payments or anything that could potentially go wrong over two years that could force you into high fees, as soon as it gets shipped, as soon as they send you the notification that it's all set up, Go online, pay off the thing in full. But I got this within, within less than 48 hours of paying for it, so I have one now. And it just goes to show you that there are deals out there. There are ways to do things. And I'm going to use my experience in being able to find deals online, shop for deals, and also my experience in camera gear to let you know the really great deals that are out there because you're going to see a ton of deals on things that really isn't that great of a deal at all. A lot of times what we see around Black Friday or even Boxing Day here in Canada or post Christmas, we see a lot of deals and they're not deals. What they are is end of the line. They're last year's model. And while you see it as a huge discount, well, that's what you'd kind of expect because it's end of the line. It's like buying a 2021 car in 2022. It's already out of date. You shouldn't pay full market price. So subscribe and like. And what it'll do is you and choose all notifications so that way as soon as I have any news and put it out there, you'll get to it. Because like we're seeing with BNH, and they do a great job of putting deals out every day. But as we can see, some of these deals are timed. And of course, some of them are based on stock. So please like and subscribe, choose all notifications. And as soon as I know about a deal, you will too. Um, We've already missed a few deals, uh, but what I aimed to do last week, I put out some videos and I also notified through the community, my channel community. And you might be wondering, what is this community you're talking about, Simon? Well, if you're watching this video, and you obviously are, if you just click on my channel, it'll bring you up to a different page where you can see all my videos. 
and you'll see a bunch of tabs or menus that say about this channel, community, and a few other things. And then my videos are down below there. And it's in the community where I'll put out polls, I'll put out notifications. It's something where I either don't have enough time to put out a video or the information is timely enough that I want to get it out to you so you don't miss any deals. So stay tuned as soon as I hear about any great deals on Samsung too, because I know a lot of us for our computers, um, you know, a SATA drive at around 480 megabytes per second is more than fast enough for our computers. Um, for my content creation, my editing, that's where I prefer to use the Angel Bird, but for the computer, the Samsung Evos are more than capable enough. And even though they only have anywhere from around 600 uh, gigabytes to about 2.4 terabytes of write time, uh, or two <laughs> terabytes of write, um, for, for the computers, they're more than adequate enough. It's just when you come to editing, when you're dealing with a lot of raw files, you're dealing with a lot of 8K and 4K video, it's just not going to be sufficient enough. That's where you want to go to something like these. Um, I believe the, the Angelbird AV Pro is capable of 36,000 terabyte, terabytes written over its life. It's incredible. I'll give you an idea, the 4 terabyte Samsung is 2.4 terabytes written. I mean, that's a factor of 2 into 30. 18, 17, about 16 times. It's huge. Anyhow, um, that's all I want to say. I hope you enjoy your Sunday. Here it's it's a little bit cold. It's going to go up to a high of six, but it's sunny. It's beautiful. I'm going to finish wrapping up this video. I promised my son we could do some gaming on Xbox. But uh, yeah, I'm really super excited about the deals we're seeing this week. I'm keeping my eye out for some lenses. Uh, one, other, yeah, one other thing I wanted to point out too is if, if you're looking at lenses or bodies, Honestly, I think Black Friday is the best opportunity you're going to have to buy. And this is going after what we saw last year. I was expecting to see a lot more deals in December, which traditionally we have seen. But since the economic slowdown, I haven't seen that. Black Friday is, once we hit Black Friday, and including this week, this is your best chance, your last chance this year to get deals on camera bodies and lenses. And normally, we used to see some deals in December and sometime in May, but really it's it's all about Black Friday. So know what it is you want to get, know what price you're willing to pay. So as soon as you see something, click buy and you're not going to regret it. Uh, what I do caution is just sort of blindly going into it and just clicking buy. You don't want to get buyer's remorse. So sit down, write out what it is you want to spend, what it is you absolutely need. And for me, again, it's storage. I'm going to keep an eye on Angelbird and what they're going to offer up for their AV Pro, because that's what I really want, is their 4 terabyte AV Pro. It's a little bit more expensive than the Samsung. It, the Samsung, I think, is around $500, and the AV Pro is around $2,300. But again, when you look at those terabytes written, you know, it'll last five, six, seven years longer with intense writing, and that's not the case with the Samsungs. Previously, I've been using the Samsungs, and at the end of every year, I park them, I archive them, because I'm getting close to that terabytes written. Whereas the Angelbird, uh, you just produce year after year, and you don't really have to worry about it. But that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you again soon.